Michael gets 50 and Joan and Terry get 20 each and the rest goes to GMHC for care for poor people with AIDS and not to medical research because if the feds could spend a trillion bucks on bombs then they could spend little on research, right? Right. But you didn't think this kid from Bensonhurst had so much stashed away, did you? Ha ha ha. Mm. Oh, Robert. This is for you. Hope you like it. Okay, just let me breathe. I'm on your side. I want to move those 50 keys as bad as you, but it won't happen unless the Bolivian gets his property back. <laughs> Look, you don't have to be so pushy about it. Want to be a drummer? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you could be the kick-ass drummer. You could be a kick-ass drummer, huh? I'm just kidding. I'm just... Just playing. You're such an asshole. What the fuck did I bring you for anyway? I need you like I need cancer. Did you work with Eddie today? How did he look? I'll tell you how he looked. Old, tired, no speed, no wind, am I right? And answer me this. Can Manuela take a punch? No, he can. He's got a head like a friggin' wall. And you're gonna tell me you really believe Eddie can knock out a guy like that? Good work, baby. I'll see you later. Five winners in a row. Wow, Louise, I love you. Good morning, mistress. No need to be afraid. Mm, such a beauty. And where is the lucky man that shares his life with you, my gentle dove? You want a leg or a breast? I already killed five of them. Won't bother me none to kill some more. I'd rather feel one way or the other. But today I, I just felt even. And uh, I don't like it. Just remember to keep away from fire when you wear this coat. All right? Come on, Jay. You know Star Wars is just a fantasy. But I can't do my medical research anywhere else. You know that. I can't even take my girl out now. She's got the ring I was supposed to hand over to her tonight. She said she wouldn't stoop me until he was engaged, so I went out and borrowed the thing from my mother, but she expects it back tomorrow. She's gonna kill me. They're both gonna kill me. Coffee and cigarettes? That's not too healthy, is it now? Can I get you a sandwich or something? Oh, there was this big mud puddle out there, and I, I got this sudden urge to splash around in it. <laughs> Rise, O oh light, come forth, O oh light. O oh darkness, we move. We... Shit, how's it going? My favor, right here. Calm down, all right? Relax. Yo. Speaking of uh, pigs, I was gonna ask you if I could... Uh... Well, you see, I feel more comfortable being with the pigs rather than being there I in know. the computer. In the spot he's in, who wouldn't be? He asked me to ask you to ask Leo to take care of him. You know, putting a good word with Leo. Leo listens to you. Not that Leo wouldn't help the Shimada anyway. A kind like Bernie, a squidgy like the Shimada, a straight shooter like him. You help me out here, Granger. Talk to me. You made that stuff up, the chief. You made that stuff up about Granger and the perjury. It isn't true. It isn't true. It isn't true. Give you the cap of what you want. You might just get it. Just pick up your personal in-room telephone and talk to me. My name is Chet. Although we do provide privacy for the residential guests, we are also a full-service hotel, including complimentary shoe shine. My name is Chet. Okay. I'm sorry. I could give you a drink. You want a drink, Paul? I am the power and the glory. I am Satan. I serve the demons, and the demons serve me. In the blood, I have no more are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? You know what this is? It's the world's smallest violin playing just for the waitresses. Medium shot of an intense, mysterious, dark-haired woman. And she is an angel. Literally. Joe. This is where it all comes, comes together now, okay? Joe had this way of making people feel important. Cuban kids with a switchblade and a golf club. Hey, take a cab, okay? I'm with friends. <laughs> so, Paul, I'll, I'll, I'll bet you'd forgotten all about me, hadn't you? Give me the fucking money. Money's right. in the... Say, we're preparing a little story on you. We had a couple of questions about the Martino case. Remember that one? A couple years back, the one about accusation of accepting a bribe brought against you by Mr. Martino. Any comments? Bullet busted to my ribs. Father, I'm not saying goodbye. Not in my heart. I'll think of you a hundred times a day. I'll be sad every night your place is empty at the table. I'll smile 
Every time I think of something that would have amused you. The martinis are for squares, man. Nobody ever made a greater mistake than the one who did nothing because he thought he could only do a little. I am Buddy. What can I get you? Hey, you! You shut your mouth, you chicken-sucking bastard! Or I'll stab your eyeballs out and piss all over your brain! It's gonna be a slaughterhouse in here! A dead body's flying through the air! Like freaking rag dolls on fire! I'm available, don't wait too long. Oh, what are you talking about? I've given you enough information to write a bestseller for Christ's sakes. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I thought I heard screaming down a basement. Ah, how about writing a fast track to an exciting career in caboose repair? Why don't you go learn your lines, Cora? Hey, script! How about paying attention a little bit there, okay? Hey, hey, focus puller. I got some good tie stick. You wanna go fucking smoke one or you wanna pay attention here? What are you laughing at, wolf? You fucking pretentious beret wearing motherfucker. Hey, I saw your real man. It sucked. Fuck would hire you anyway. Hey, Bob! Hey, Bob! Can you make a little noise on the fucking dolly? Huh? You creaky motherfucker! Wanda, next time can you wear a shirt that's a little bit more distracting to my actors? What is your name anyway? Well, blacks are less intelligent on average. They're more impulsive. They have a different temperament than white people. It's a matter of scientific research that blacks have a lower IQ than white people. Yeah, sure. Don't worry about it. It's no problem. A choice. You could tell me where Earl Denton is, or you could tell it to the worms. I was frozen stiff. All I could do was watch this thing tear the place apart. I mean, it was amazing. Cutthroat scumbags were coming out of the woodwork and dying much deserved deaths. Hold on. No fucking way. You fucking notice this? I got fucking shot. I got fucking shot in the face. I went and got the fucking money. I got shot fucking picking it up. I've been there for 36 fucking hours. I'm taking that fucking car. That fuck is mine. You fucking asshole. You know, I've been listening to your fucking bullshit all week. A we square? As coroner of Munskin. What are you doing out here? You're supposed to be working. Hey, not to worry, Snake. You've just been shot with a fun gun. Feel it? You feel it? You feel it? It's pure mesh, man. 100 proof for artery choke. It's like Rebo says, when the hit pulls you down to one inch from death, that is living, man. Define irony. Bunch of idiots dancing on a plane to a song made famous by a band that died in a plane crash. Okay, guys, here's the shot, all right? Now, Madonna is going to come walking up the center aisle, right? As she passes you and you see her, you give a double take, all right? Like, oh, Madonna. Woo! I'm throwing rocks tonight. Mark it, dude. The best sexual harassment lawyer in Cleveland. Hey, I'm talking to you too, babe. It's because I'm the best guitar player in the world. Yeah, self-taught, no lessons. Thank you very much, Pop. If you're going to be afraid, be afraid when someone says... I haven't had sex in a while. Yeah, her name was, uh... Well, it was like a pet's name. Something like Dash or Dasher. Not like Dash Hound, but Dash something. I think Mr. Koufax should be acquitted of all the charges. If OJ can get away with murder, why can't Sonny have his kid? This guy knows what I'm talking about. No more questions. On entry to equipment room, Sergeant Perez found several inmates in possession of five gallons of homebrew, blah, blah, blah. Your sentence was for 28 days of rehab. We got an okay setup. I sleep on the couch. And, uh, Franklin has trained himself to sleep standing up like a horse. I was walking behind you the other day, but I was thinking, hey, Ray's got kind of a nice ass. Do, 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 do you think that, that's funny? Here, is that funny? I'll show you something funny. These machines are suspected of causing sterility, and I want to have a little Neil Jr. calling me daddy someday. We don't? We put them in the rooms, walk them in and strip them. Look them in the face and say it's safe. What the hell is that? You've been number one for too long, Sullivan. Now your time is up. And don't worry, I'll take good care of the kid. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Where do you see what you got back here? <gasps> now I'll tell you what. If they put those two boys to death, 
that would defeat everything that Matt would be thinking about them. Because he would not want those two to die. He'd want to leave them with hope. H-O-P-E. You can get a lot more for a lot less under the West Side Highway. Lori doesn't want to have sex with me. What does she expect me to do? Peanut butter and gumballs, nice combo. Don't worry about what happened. Time heals all things. Except these crazy eyes. And I've been locked up in here ever since. I'm afraid to go out there again. They've tried to gobble me up on more than one occasion. Why do they despise me so? I created them. Do you think God stays in heaven because he too lives in fear of what he's created? Here on Earth? Stop looking at me like that. I'm no loon. I'm robbing this place. All right, everybody down! Hey, just slide that over. Would you mind grabbing that? Hi, Homer. I'm actor Steve Buscemi. I gave up clown college for this? The life you think you had before the contamination it never happened. Come on, don't look at me like that. At least you had a bike. You want to trade your rosy memory implants for my shitty childhood? Be my guest. It's no picnic being a guy. It's hard. If I was a woman, I would have been a prostitute. I broke up with Wanda. Her ass was a travesty. It's just some things you can't overlook. What is going on out there? Well, I'd run too if I was going to be a steak. I mean, look, if I want to have a showing of this artist's work, nobody has any right to stop me. I'm fighting for our First Amendment rights here. Either you're with me or you're a fucking Nazi as far as I'm concerned. What? Why can't I say that? This is my house! Why can't you respect that? Why can't you just stay away from that? Oh. Oh. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's a famous saying, shot heard around the world. That's what I'm aiming for. You really are a handsome devil. <laughs> Sure, this is all your fault. It's that killer smile that causes car wreck. Friend, come on. I've had friends before. They don't look like Mickey. I'm just saying, your ex elegance, that if these two men are as in love as they say they are, I don't see why this should be a problem. I'm just asking for one kiss, councilman. Oh, die pack! Man, that stings! Damn it! What are you looking at? Anyone else a die pack? Tell me now, and I won't shoot you. Who's got a boom, a dipper stick, and a bucket with a row of chompers? Me! And that's just my rear end. Well, I'm good now. You've done enough, Doc. More than that, actually. Really, Brain? You want to be trapped in an endless existential nightmare, forced to keep living even though life is meaningless and nothing matters? Look at that tree. So look at that fucking tree. It's the same age as my son. If I don't go, who's gonna go in place of me? That's what he said. What are you doing? Are you out of your mind? No soldiers in the safety zone. You wanna get us all killed? You see, experience does count for something. You know, when it comes to shooting a stiff. Oh, I still remember when you lost your cherry that night in Ciudad Trujillo. To the best looking whore I've ever seen. When I lived in Las Vegas, I had plenty of luck. Problem was, most of it was bad. I've never had a desk job before, but I watched enough TV. Do good work and you move up. And I have the best seat in the house. Do not cross that line! We agreed this was my zone, right? Open this door! You open this door! Hey, get back here! You stop this car right now! I'm warning you! You're in trouble! Mr. Mayor, if 
Fellow members of the city council, in less than two hours, liquor will be declared illegal by decree of the distinguished gentlemen of our nation's Congress. To those beautiful, ignorant bastards. Yeah. I'm still confused about how my brother got to be one of the chosen people. It'll be like an Elvis thing, you know, like I saw him at Ralph's last week. No, because the only thing that's wrong here is that a camera caught him doing police work. <laughs> is this a fucking joke to you? You think it's funny? Is it the mustache? Because I can shave the mustache. Get out now. Put some pants on. Now we tend to think of the kitchen as a boring place. But what if I told you that food can be sexy? Now what do we got here? Just another boring old hot dog on a plate. But what if I took these two grapes? I think you all know where I'm going with that. This one's from my very first Christmas. I just never heard of it. It never came up. This one's a little computer. Beep, boop, beep. This one's a little pine cone. Beep, boop, beep. All right, quick, name this baby. If you said Larry, you were close. It's Jesus. Well, I work at a combination Taco Bell Pizza Hut, so two jobs. Oh, and I'm an extra in pornos. I sort of just wander through while people are doing it. Okay, well, before she gets here, I want to go over exactly how it's going to work. Yes. You know me, Arnie Anal. What can I say? I like to kill. Do I look like a pimp to you? I'm not, I am not like young men like you. You probably don't believe it, but um, truth is, I really don't like girls. Fire! Yeah, yeah. Fire bad! We know. I was part of a special task force of very young-looking cops who infiltrated high schools. How do you do, fellow kids? I go to places where the children have neither food nor clean water, and I give them magic. God, I hate white people. Guaranteed to bring out the stripe in you. Not now, buddy. I told you. I'm sorry. I can't help you. I, All right? Say goodbye to your friends. Who cares about them? And I'll take you for a ride. Jump on my suicide field. Once you're gone, you never have to feel so sad and bad. I'm down on your luck. I'll show you what I know. I was always telling your pop he should sell this crap and make some money. But he can never throw anything away. I'm the best dam inspector in the business. And I'm here to inspect this dam. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Now he's why that nugget has never been stolen. This will prevent infection. It's good. I met a wonderful woman named Renee. She's a dental surgeon. Kind of amateur, but um, she's working on my teeth. I see. I'm thinking maybe my hourly rate would better suit this suit. <laughs> Get it? Yeah, we're probably the worst Horace and Pete yet. Yes, they beat their wives and they raised their sons right. What kind of fathers were you two? You, the Pete and the Horace before us, their dad, who too, until a minute ago, I thought he was my dad. Yeah, I am fucking crazy. And you think that's funny. If you ever talk to Sylvie the way you did today, ever again, I'll be the crazy guy who tore your fucking head off. To be practical, we need to raise approximately $14 million to save us from the wrecking ball, and this is where our friend Norman Oppenheimer comes in. Well, over here, you got your wife on the right-hand side going, rah, 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 rah. and in Japan, your wife is on your left-hand side going, rah, 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 rah. no one will ever want a baby ever, ever again. The end of baby core. <laughs> strangle you. Yes, ma'am. Dorsal Dan, at your service. Look what I found in Buffalo. Star Scream's head, ladies and gentlemen. Look what I got. New voice box for beads. You don't have any manners, do you? You just wolfed down half a sandwich before I even started. You don't just shovel food in your mouth like it's... And you're not a pig, are you? All right, comrades. Now that we're quarant, I propose we call a doctor. Good thing I brought my vape. Hell of a view, Mr. Khan. Is there a city more beautiful than Neo Yokio? Well, that's enough vaping for me. I'll be seeing you around. We're going on a trip. 
a voyage. Well, let me guess. Were you born in 1988? Jesus. Good pin. I've arranged for a private investigator. He'll do a DNA test, ask some questions. This fat boy's gonna light up the dessert table. <laughs> I like this plan already. <laughs> oh, I... Yes, this is what I want. Did you call me a senior? You're the one who's bald. Why would you shit in a hole when you could just go on the floor of your house and pay someone to remove it after a couple of days? I should have been the actor. Me. I was a handsome one. I should be a big movie star. You stole my career. So, Cagino, Steve, I hope your career goes down in flames. Flames, I say. Flames. Hey, buddy, you want an autograph? That's 20 bucks a pop. I don't recognize him at all. Handsome guy, though. Beautiful mustache. Hope you catch that sexy outlaw. You're winners, and always welcome here. What was he, 6'3", full of muscle? Your dad, he's right here. Your dad was a hero. I want to thank you for your service, sir. Thank you for not letting those dirty scumbag Talibanians win. I was going to say success. Hey, friends. This is Steve Buscemi speaking from the text-to-speech site Uber Decca's Randall Box from Monsters, Inc. Just wanted to say I hope you enjoyed this video and that a line from each role is more comprehensible than just a second. Anyway, if you want to see more videos like this for other actors, be sure to subscribe to Pepper and Horror. Even on a jet plane, I don't know when I'll be back again. Ladies and gentlemen, Scarlett Johansson and for some reason, Steve Buscemi. Man, look at that Steve Buscemi. Every one of his teeth is in business for itself. You know, Steve, the art director's job is never an easy one. That's right, Scarlett. But this year... Hey, where are you going? I'm going to the Elton John party. What the hell? I told you we were staying for the governor's ball. And I told you, Tim, we would see how the evening plays out. Oh, as I hate traveling. Besides, my passport picture was awful. Ugh, you look like a human cigarette. The Oscars. Hey, dude, how's it going? We're, we're just having a great time calling everybody to, you know, make them feel happy and all that sort of thing. And uh, what are you doing now? This is fucking bullshit. You're acting like a fucking thief, and I'm acting like a professional. Come on, Harry. Blow the damn asteroid. Steve, I thought he was watching Scooby-Doo. Now we're watching Scooby-Doo. <laughs> sausage McMuffin. Uh, sausage McMuffin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, if you don't like uh, spaghetti and meatballs, get the hell out of here. <laughs>